song and they start calling in and buying tickets Ooh. a million copies sold baby. tour what tour i mean you yeah, that's just the goal right take over my body make me scream and holler feeling like i'm feeling when i'm feeling you inside pressure got me feeling pressure got me screaming trying to control it but how you got me feeling got me wanting to turn over and wanting to be known what is happening what on earth is this Okay, so what is going on? This right here is just a little surprise party for you. Well, it was supposed to be a surprise. I tried. I know he said something about a tour, but I didn't know there was going to be a whole party. I mean, I appreciate this, but, but why? The party is the other half of the surprise. Wait, Jaden, you knew about all this? I mean, well, I might have known a little something. Jaden helped us plan the party. I figured there'd be nobody better than your own fiance to help us pull this off. And I'm guessing that brings us right back to the reason for the surprise party. I'll let your manager tell you the good news. Well, you know, your song has been charting, talking about a million records sold. Translation? You, my dear, are the top grossing agent 88 Keys Entertainment has ever had. You took the label I built with blood, sweat, and tears to even a higher level than I could have imagined. So this little party is my way of saying thank you. Thank you, Priest. No, Abby, thank you. Now, that brings us back to our tour plans. So, Abby, how does a 50-city tour sound? Um. Y'all don't think it's a tad early for that? You're hot right now, and we need to capitalize on the buzz you're getting. I'm gonna have you filling off venues and giving the fans what they want, and getting the bag on top of that. By the time this tour is over, our record sales would have doubled. So what do you say? I say, let's do it. Excellent. Now let's get this party started. Hello, Abigail. Janae. Hey, I had no idea you were here. Well, I tend to fade into the background really well as of recent. Well, I'm glad you can make it. I figure if I hang out with more successful people that maybe it will rub off on me. Hey, Abby, you got a moment? Oh, uh, yeah, anything wrong? Oh, uh, yeah, I got Diane from the Music Lounge on the phone. She wants to promote the tour. Oh, cool. Well, isn't that lovely? Don't let me interrupt. I'll just be over here with the less famous people. I'll be right back, babe. It's so nice to finally meet you. you it's know. nice to meet you, too. I'm such a big fan of yours. <laughs> so I just have a few questions for you, for myself, and from some of the other fans. It's so rare that Fresh Talent is making such record-breaking numbers on their debut album. <laughs> What do you think has helped you the most in generating the buzz that you're getting right now? Oh, um, I feel like I owe everything to my label, my amazing manager, and of course, Priest, the CEO of 88 Keys Entertainment. And 
Speaking of priests, <laughs> fans would like to know what that relationship is like. Place. Excuse me? Not in a weird sort of way, but you know, often we see new talent having problems with their labels, like due to signing a bad contract or the label trying to take advantage of them. No, not at all. I have found a home here. Every single one of these people are like my family and Priest treats me like his own daughter. He saw something in me that no one else really did and he took a chance on me. And for that, I am forever grateful to him. That's what you expect from such a savvy businessman like Priest, but what is your relationship like with your other coworkers? Yeah. There's one person in particular that we are most curious about, and that is Janae. Yeah. I mean, we all know she used to be the face of this label before you showed up and took her place. I, I did not take anyone's place. 88 Keys Entertainment is big enough for Janae and I to coexist. Okay, there's no beef. She's like a sister to me, and there's no point in trying to create this non-existing drama. Look, you know, look, I'm sorry. You know, I didn't mean to take it there. I was just going off some observations that we made. Yeah, well, your observations were wrong. Duly noted. And finally, oh, your manager informed us about an upcoming tour that you have coming up for your debut album. How soon will this tour start? And what can fans expect from this tour? Well, that is a question that you are gonna have to follow up with my manager on because he has all the details. But yeah, I'm going on tour very soon and I'm very excited about it. Awesome. You know what? Thank you so much for doing this interview. And I hope you have a wonderful tour. Thank you. That party was lit, huh? Yeah. What's, what's wrong? I'm fine. It's nothing. Nah. What's going on? I love my singing. I really do. It's just that sometimes the business side of things just gets me worked up. Yeah, I heard you over there talking to your manager. What was that about? Spencer keeps trying to get me to sign this new contract. I mean, what's the problem with that? Thought you liked working with everyone. I do. I, I totally do. do. It's just that, well, this new contract has these new stipulations that weren't in the old one, and I just don't want to get tied down this early in my career. I mean, look at Janae. She's clearly not happy with her situation in the label, but she can't do anything about it because she's still under contract. I mean, have you talked to Priest about how you feel about all this? I don't even think that Priest knows about this thing. It's just Spencer trying to be greedy, and I like him. You know, he's a good manager, but I don't know. If he keeps trying to rush me into signing this contract, I might have to take this up with Priest and possibly find a new manager. I mean, I think you should talk to Priest about it. I don't like them stressing out like this. <laughs> you know, I did see how you were looking at him afterwards. You wanted to rough him up? I did want to rough him up a little bit. <laughs> they can't be stressing out my baby like that. Hmm. Come here. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> I gotta take these. Yeah. What do you want? Wow, Marcus finally decided to have a chat. Last time I tried to contact you, you said I'm nothing but a low-life blackmailer. But I knew you'd come around. How did you get those pictures? <laughs> you did a damn good job of trying to bury every evidence in your past, but I'm good at digging things up. How did you get them? It doesn't matter how I got them, really, does it? All that matters is what I intend to do with them. Seriously. I wonder how the media will react when they find out that 88 Keys Entertainment's lead singer used to bust it down on the pole. 
Oh, and let's not talk about the things you did in the VIP room, as I'm sure you've seen in the video. That was in the past. Yes, it was. But the thing about the past is it always finds a way to catch up to you. Why are you doing this? What do you want? My offer still stands. It's up to you. Deal or no deal. Fine. Deal. And what's going on? Well, seeing how stretched you were last night, I thought I'd do something to cheer you up, and breakfast in bed seemed like a good idea. You didn't have to go through the trouble. I'd be making breakfast in bed every day if I could. Mm. Listen, I know you'll be going on tour soon enough, and I'm trying to make the most of the time we have right now. Why are you so perfect? Can I marry you already? I mean, if you want to change the wedding date, we can. Yeah, let's do it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Love you more. Mm. <laughs> Why does it always happen? Hello? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll be right there. I'm sorry, baby, that was Priest. He said he wants me to meet him at the club. Something urgent just came up. But you haven't even touched your food yet. I know, baby, I'm sorry. <laughs> But you know how Priest is. If he says it's urgent, then it has to be. I gotta go. So, thinking maybe this is the remix system. I don't know. I think we should record a new one. I mean, we can, but I'm not sure the Priest will want to. Hmm. Hey, what's going on? Hey, guys. Is Priest here? Uh, I think he's at the club. Well, hello, pretty girl. Hey, um... Hey, Diane. Can I have a minute? Give me one second. Yeah. You need anything, boss? Yeah, um... I just feel like we haven't connected in forever. How are you? Worried about those of us at the bottom, are you? <laughs> well, you need not worry, queen. I'm doing just fine. Well, it's just, you know, I see what they're saying in the media about this heat between us, and I just want to make sure that we're cool. Don't worry. Trust me. We're cool. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to get back to my little session. All right. Thanks, love. Hey, Abby. Have a seat for me, please. So, um, when we spoke on the phone, you said it was urgent? It is. Last night, I received a disturbing message from an anonymous email. You for yourself. Abby. I'm sure you realize how damaging this could be, Abby. This is bad, Abigail. It's bad for you, it's bad for me, it's bad for everybody involved. If those images and tapes got leaked to the media, it would destroy everything that we built. Now, the person who sent it hasn't leaked it, so I'm guessing they want something from us. So tell me, Abby, has anybody contacted you? Yeah, I received the same message last night. And what did they want? 50% of my earnings going forward. How did they contact you? They sent me a message. 
I still have the number. Anything else? Is there anything else you can think of that will help us find out who this is? I have the account number that they want me to make the payments out to. Remember when you first signed your deal with the label? You were just another artist to me back then. But a lot has changed since then. Now, I see you as I would my own daughter, my own flesh and blood. And regardless of what you might have done in the past, I'm not gonna let you go through this alone. I will not allow anybody to blackmail my family. Whoever this is, I'll find them, and I'll take care of it. I promise you that. But first, I'm gonna need you to do one more thing for me. audacity to call and harass me after? You can go to hell. Hello? Good morning, dear. Good morning, priest. I just want to let you know I'm taking care of that situation we spoke about. It'll be over soon. That's a relief. And then we can put all the spy on us and get back to business. Please, wait. It was you? I'm sorry, just let me explain. Brian, you and I broke up five years ago after you cheated on me. Haven't heard from you since. So please explain to me why is it that you are now back in my life and trying to ruin everything that I have worked so hard for. Look, I never meant for any of this. But I lost my job months ago, and I've been struggling ever since. Then I was approached by this woman, Janae. Wait, Janae? The same woman you work with, yes. She promised to help me with all my financial problems if I helped her dig up some dirt to hurt you and tarnish your reputation. So you and Janae are working together to blackmail me. But things have changed. Look, I don't know how Priest got a hold of those images. I never sent them to him. But ever since, I've had people trailing me. I got chased yesterday by three guys and I barely managed to escape. Please, you have to help me talk to him. Tell him I don't want any part of this. It was all Janae's plan. Tell him to call off his hitman. Okay, so if you didn't send the images to Priest, then who did? So Jaden came through? Yeah. Straight G? Yeah. 
He's got potential. I think so. There he is. <laughs> My brother. So. Stone Cold Killer. Look. So I'm guessing she signed the contract. We got to nail down. Those images were just the thing we needed to tie her down. All her self-esteem was gone as soon as I showed her those pictures. She was thanking me while signing that contract. <laughs> I knew snooping through a phone would finally pay off eventually. <laughs> so, uh, how soon should I expect payment? Just be patient. Do you have some interesting scoop for me? I do. This is... It is Abigail. Back when she was known as Abby the Fiend. Where did you get this from? It's not important. How soon can you publish it? I'm sorry, hon. Did I wake you? Yeah, um, can you hear your footsteps pacing back and forth? What time is it? Baby, it's still dark outside. What are you doing up? <sighs> There's just so much stuff going through my mind right now. Let me guess, the label? Nope. There's just so much stuff happening so fast, and in between the stress, anger, and anxiety, I just, I feel like I haven't been fair to you in all of this. Listen, Abby, if this is about the tour, we've talked about this. Do whatever you need to do. I'm no, not no, trying no, to... baby, it's, it's not that. Then, then what is it? You've always been so understanding and compassionate, which is why I really, really need to tell you this. Jaden, before we met, I, I did things in my past, things that I deeply, deeply regret. And now the shadows of my past have started to slowly creep back into my life. Hey, what are you talking about? Back before I moved back to the United States, years ago, I used to work as a hooker. And this is a past that I've tried so hard to bury, but now, my ex-boyfriend has just brought it all back into the light. Um, your ex-boyfriend? I'm sorry. I know I should have told you about this. I just never thought that I'd find myself in these circumstances. Please say something. I don't know what to say. Honestly, I'm kind of confused. But whatever it is, no matter what life throws at us, I'm gonna be right here with you. I promise you I'm gonna take care of this. I will not let my past get in between our future.
would you stop doing all that? We're in public. No one's gonna do anything to you in here. Okay. Maybe I stop being so paranoid if you told your psychotic boss to call off his dog. Okay, watch the tone, Brian. All right, you're the one that got yourself into this. It was Janae's fault. If she hadn't dragged me out here to carry out her plans to hurt you, I wouldn't be stuck in this mess with killers after me. Of course. <laughs> Classic Brian always blaming everyone except for himself. You know, you can blame Janae all you want, but at the end of the day, this was your choice to make. You made your bed, now lay in it. Listen, Abby, I admit I'm at fault in more ways than one, but I've suffered enough. I get startled by the sound of my own footsteps just by walking down the road. Please, I'm begging you, please help me get out of this. I'm so sorry. I've already made my conditions very clear to you. And besides, I still find it hard to believe that a priest will sit goons on you. But you know, I guess that's just the length he's willing to go to protect me. Be that as it may, Priest and I still just want the same thing. Those pictures and that footage, gone. The last time we spoke, you told me that no one else except for you and Janae have copies of the files. I need to know if that's true. Yes, we haven't sent them to anyone else. Well, somehow, some way, someone else got a copy of the files and sent them to Priest, which makes me think that Janae is already playing her hand. I need to know if she has any more copies or if she sent them to anyone else. I want them all destroyed. You show me proof of that, and I got you. I'll see to it that Priest backs off, and I'll even throw in some cash. Okay. I understand, but you need to tell your boss to stop it. I'm no use to you if I'm dead. <gasps> Brian, do you think I'm a fool? Like, really? I know you. You are a cunning and deceitful snake. And don't act like the only reason why you haven't left yet isn't because you know that you wouldn't even get far without being followed. Okay? Now, if I were to approach Priest with this now, I would have to tell him the full truth, which means including Janae's involvement in all of this. And I do not want to take this up with her until I know good and well that she has absolutely nothing that she can use against me. So, find and destroy all of the copies. It's too late for that. She already said the operation is in full force. She's ready to leak the files any moment. Wait, wait, how? She says she has a journalist that's ready to air everything any moment from now. Oh my God, this cannot be happening. The hell is that? That was the best one yet. I yeah? Love it. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what you said about the last one and it's still lying on the shelf. <sighs> Come on now. Priest hadn't given me to go ahead to release it, so my hands are tied. Oh, well, of course not. I promise you, it has nothing to do with the quality of music. Mm. Spencer, look, you don't need to explain yourself to me. I get what Priest is doing here. He just doesn't want me taking the spotlight away from his little investment. I don't think that's it. No. Tell me something, Spencer. You ever get bored of this job? Never. No. I love this job. Yeah. Me too. You. Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell? Why are you causing trouble in my studio? Don't ask me that question. Ask your little pet bat. She's the one that came busting up in here. Years, years I have spent trying to bury my past and put it all behind me and just like that she took it all back up. What are you talking about? She's the one behind the leaked pictures. No, no, Abby, it's not Joanne. I told you I'm taking care of it. Actually, she's right. I did it. Why? You know why. Oh my gosh, God, I've been trying to do this for years and I have shown you nothing but love and respect ever since I signed with this label. So just tell me, how, how could you do this to me? We're supposed to be like sisters. Look at her. She has no remorse or nothing. She just doesn't give a Spencer, just... take her out of here. Yeah. Keep an eye on her. What kind of fucking stunt are you trying to pull? You want to be number one that bad, huh? Priest, you give me too much credit. Lying, manipulating, playing the long game. 
That's your thing, right? Me? I'm just a girl trying to get what she deserves. You're not thinking straight, Joanne. If she gets exposed, it destroys everyone, not just her, but the whole label. It's not a matter of if, but when. Get up. Now, you listen very closely to me. You good for nothing, whore. If you so much just make one move or try to sabotage my investment, I promise you, I will. You're going to kill me? Well, I'm not afraid to die. Those files are still going to come out whether I'm dead or alive. Only thing is, you would have lost your golden goose and your little backup plan. Because that's all I was to you ever since Abigail came, huh? Your backup plan, right? I'll take that as a yes. Excuse me. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. I just couldn't sit back and watch them string another puppet along. Not after what he's done. Who knows? Maybe one day you might be thanking me for it. Well, what a surprise to see you here tonight. Denise. Diane. Uh, right. I don't know if you can't tell, but I'm in the mood to be interviewed right now. Then I guess it's a good thing that I'm not here to interview you. Where did you get that? I think you know where. Janae. OK, so <laughs> what do you want? Oh, wait, let me guess. You want money, too, right? You think that's who I am, Abby? Well, why else are you here? Why haven't you published it yet? Because I have no interest in doing so. Why not? A story like that will give your career a major boost. Any journalist will be foamy at the mouth to get their hands on something like that. I mean, you are right on one account. This would be the biggest scoop I've had in a long while. But unlike most journalists, I'm telling you the truth. No, I'm one of your biggest fans. I don't understand. I have no interest in seeing such a hardworking woman on the way to the top being dragged through the mud by the ghosts of her past. Because Lord knows, I have some of those myself. I will not be publishing this. What's the catch? I can understand why you have such trust issues in such a manipulative industry. But there is no catch. Although, I do hope you consider me as one of your PR agents on your upcoming tour. Thank you. You're welcome. One more thing. Did you approach Janae like you did the other day? She has more files. So we need to confiscate cautiously because we don't want her to make another move. Yeah, yeah. Um... Wait, how did you know I had a fight with Janae yesterday? Like I told you the last time we met, I have my sources. I'll see you later, Abby. so that she's not going to post the pictures on Music Lounge. Oh, that's good news. 
Now all I need is for Brian to get Janae's copy of the files and everything can finally go back to normal. You know, I just want you to know I'm really proud of the way you've been handling this situation. Not many people can stay as composed and in control as you have. Well, it's all thanks to you. Having you by my side gives me the strength to weather any storm. <laughs> all right. Let's just have one night where we can just chill and watch a movie. I'd love that. <laughs> Let me sit down and catch it. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Ready? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> wait, wait, do me, do me. Hello? Joanne, I've been meaning to call you. Sorry, but there's been a delay with my editors. We'll have to wait a while. Yeah, don't. What? I've changed my mind. Don't publish it. Oh, wow. I must say I'm glad to hear that. What made you change your mind? Let's just call it a guilty conscience. Hello? Hey, I know you must think the worst of me, but we need to talk. I promise I'll tell you all the dirty details, and maybe then you'll understand. Babe, hurry up, you're gonna be late for work. Got an issue. Guess you already heard. I heard it. I've seen it. It's all over the news. Everybody in their mother's tweeting about it. I know. I don't understand. The leak didn't come from us. Think the black male made his move? No, that rat still hiding in his hole. He wouldn't risk his life to do this. You're right. It's Jonay. It has to be. Hey, bitch! Oh, I'm gonna kill her. Oh. Let's just calm down, man. Calm down, I warned her. Man, she's the least of our problems. We gotta figure out how to curve this before it gets out of hand and mess up our other business. Set up a meeting with PR ASAP. I'm already on it. And I want every video taken down, every blog, every article, and every tweet. Take it all down. But, what I think but I don't pay you to think. I pay you to make things happen. So do that. Yes, sir. And set up a call with the legal team. Once I figure out who leaked this, I need to know what our options are. Betty, yet, get my man on the phone. Let him know we may need to pay somebody a visit. What is it to be? I didn't ask you what you thought. Yes, sir. All right, let me know as soon as you have something. I thought I said I didn't want those files published. The leak did not come from me or anyone from a music group. You expect me to believe the words of a journalist? Believe whatever you want to believe. Those files, I didn't even plan to publish. I've been looking all over for answers as to where this leak came from. So, Abigail, all we have to do I'm now so sorry about is all of this. I have nothing to say to you. Oh, matter of fact, I do. You almost had me fooled. For a second, I thought maybe you were genuine. I thought that you might have a heart, but you've shown me that a snake will always be a snake. 
I mean, just take it. You actually had me full, bravo. Bravo, all that talk about not wanting to see me in the mud, wanting the best for me, really? Yeah, straight bull. And I hope you're happy now. You can finally succeed in that wonderful career of ruining other people's lives. <laughs> okay, just Abigail, wait, listen. Look, I'm sorry, you probably think a bunch of people betrayed you, but just give us a moment to explain and you'll realize that your anger is channeled towards the wrong people here. This better not be more of your lies. No lies. Not this time. I promise. So you mean to tell me that Jaden has been lying to me this whole time and has been working with priest to tie me down into a contract? Yeah, don't take my word for it. I knew I had to do something to intervene, so I started working on Spencer. And you'd be amazed at how much a guy would spill after he's been drinking and trying to hook up with a girl. No, it can't possibly be. Jaden would never. Think about it, Abby. How else would Priest get those photos? It didn't come from me. It didn't come from Brian. How else would he have gotten them? She makes a good point, Abby. Uh, you know, they've been using Jaden to try to get to you. But Jaden and Priest, like my fiance and the man who's like a father to me, like, like no, like, it, it, how could they do this to me? Like, this, this can't possibly be. Abby, look, my initial plan was to use the photos to expose you and take Priest down by ruining his golden goose. But then I found out what they were really planning, and I knew I had to do something. So I called Diane and asked her not to do anything with the photos. Yeah, and she did call me. I mean, you have to trust me. I did not leak those photos. I don't know who to trust. I, I don't know what to think. I have been getting stabbed in the back by everyone I have ever trusted. So how am I supposed to believe any of this? How am I supposed to believe that neither one of y'all had anything to do with this? Hello? Hello, Jaden. I've been trying to reach you all day. I've been busy. What the? Priest, what's going on? This was not part of the plan. You need to calm down. Don't you dare tell me to calm down. How am I supposed to get married in two months when my wife-to-be has footage all over the internet? And you don't think I'm trying to fix this? My biggest investment going down the drain. This is bad for me in more ways than you can imagine. So what are we going to do? I've been in contact with IT to take everything down, every blog post. In the meanwhile, I suggest you keep playing to support the boyfriend. I need you to make sure she stays calm and doesn't do anything stupid. Fine. I can do that. Good. I'll get to the bottom of this very soon, and we can put this mess behind us. It's okay, baby. We're gonna get through this. Not this time. It's over, Jane. No, 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 no. I'm no, no. finished. No, don't say that. Don't say things like that. Look at me. Look at me. Don't say things like that. We are still in this. Look at me. Look at me. We are still in this. Okay? We are in this together, no matter what. You're right. I've come too far to give up now. I had it off all day. I was too scared to deal with all the calls and texts. I guess now it's time to face the world. Make the call. Who's, who's that? I have a guess. Hello, Brian. Let me guess, you didn't leak them either. 
You told me that you were going to deal with Janae's copy of the files. Listen, Janae was not the one that sent out those images, Abby. He did. Give me the phone. Well, hello, doll. Surprised to hear my voice? Brian? Who is that? I must say, I'm surprised to hear yours. Although, I'm used to hearing that voice in a different tune. You know you made quite a name for yourself over here. Yeah, I always knew you couldn't stay out of the limelight very long. But, a singer. Really? <laughs> oh, that is funny. Yeah, you can always run, honey, but you know you can't hide. Oh, and thanks to your uh, friend here and some persuasive techniques, I now have everything that I need to ruin your life. And by the time I'm done with you, no one will even consider to look for you when you ultimately disappear. See you soon, doll. Who was that? Baby, come on, talk to me. You gotta talk to me. Who was that? Oh, you know I give anything to see the look on her face right now. All in good time, I suppose. Ryan, you've been a great help for me. So, do we have a deal? I gave you everything you needed, so I'm in the clear. Oh, yes. I remember the deal we had. Ryan, ask yourself, what kind of a businessman will I be if I was to let such a resourceful man like yourself slip right out of my hand? We had an agreement! I know what we had. And I intend to keep my end of the bargain. With just a little twist. No! We had a deal. You need to keep me out of this. That's not a request, kid. Get his ass up. Good. Good. Welcome to the family. You want me to answer that? You know, you still didn't tell me who that was that called you last night. Bobby. They call him Pimp, because that's what he does. I used to work for him back in Italy. I was his prized possession. I didn't want that life anymore, so I left. But if you no longer work for him, what does he want with you after all these years? You don't just leave, Bobby. Not while you're still alive. <laughs> so how'd you get out? I stole from him. Bought my freedom. Thought I left him and my past life behind, but now Brian has invited him back into my life and he won't stop until he gets what he wants. What does he want? Me. He wants me back. Hey, look at me. 
I don't care who it is. I'm not gonna let anyone take you away from me. Calm down. I'll call you back when I'm done with my meeting. Now, who did you say you were again? They call you priest, right? And you own this place. Wow. The CEO of 88 Keys Entertainment. A godly man, but with a not so godly way of doing business, though. Well, I see you done your homework. It's not exactly accurate, though. But I won't fault you for it. I still have no idea who you are. Of course. Where are my manners? The name is Bobby. Bobby the Pimp. I'm not exactly sure I owe you the pleasure. And I don't know why you're here. But we're in two different businesses. That we are. But you and I aren't so different. Sure, they call you priest and they call me pimp, but those are just names, formalities. Because at the end of the day, you and I are just alike. You see, priests, we're businessmen. We obtain resources, we secure talents, and we sell them off for a profit. Now, your methods might be a little more civilized than mine, I must say. Listen then, pimp, I don't know who you are, and you and I are nothing alike. So tell me what it is you want or you think you want and stop wasting my time. Very well then. Let's get down to business, shall we? It's come to my attention that you have quite a bit of dilemma on your hands right now. Now, I will commend you that decisive decision to swiftly take down all those links within what, a day? You still haven't uncovered where it all started. And I'm guessing I need not wonder anymore. And believe me, there is more where that came from. By the time I'm done, Abigail's name, Abigail's music, What and exactly is it that you want? What I want is simple, really. I know you have a contract with Abigail, and I want you to release her of that contract so she can sign a new one with me. And what makes you think I do that? I'm very aware of how much you invested into her. Know this, by the time I'm done running her name through the dirt, you will lose both her and your investments. So I'm giving you a chance to choose one. Grant me this, and I'll make sure the investments are safe. Why are you so keen on this? What's in it for you? Let's just say I want what's rightfully mine. I want my property back. And to make sure she doesn't get away from me this time, I'm going to need to make our agreement legally binding this time around. So you can see, even I can be civilized. And mind you, I will have her signed over to me with or without your help. That's where you're wrong, Bobby. Abigail would rather die than sign a contract with anyone else. So if you really want her to sign that contract, you're gonna need my help. <laughs> Oh, come on, priest. Can't you see? It turns out we need each other after all. So, do we have a deal? Hello? Abby left the house. I tried finding out where she was headed off to, but she wouldn't tell me. She keeping me in the dark about this, and I don't like it. I tried telling her, but I lost her, and I, I don't know. I got a bad feeling about this. I think she's trying to... Wake him up. Hey. I was wondering when you were going to wake up. I mean, I started to worry that my boys might have loved you up too much. They do tend to get carried away at times. Oh, yeah. Where am I? Who? Oh. Who are you? Well, to answer your first question, you are in a place where no one will find you. And question number two, I'm the one who can get you out of here. If 
I get what I want, that is. What you want from me? I right, see, those are the questions I love to hear. What I want from you is nothing. It's where I want to get through you. What's the password? What, 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 are you, what are you doing on my phone? What's the password? You can call the hell. You see, then that's not very nice. I've answered all your questions. Anyone even answer mine? Well, What's that? Can't quite seem to hear what you're saying. You're gonna have to speak up. Fifty-four. Three twenty-one. <laughs> that wasn't so hard now, was it? Guess again, doll. That's my girl. Oh, it's so sad, really. Your dolly boyfriend is in a bit of a situation at the moment. He has seemed to find himself captive in my custody. Oh, and um, if me calling you through his phone doesn't prove enough, get him again. <laughs> now that was a sign of boyfriend who you strangled almost to death. I'm gonna text you the address. If you get here in 30 minutes, well the next one won't stop at almost. No. Oh. So you decided to try to slip away again, huh? Well, unfortunately for you, I'm always one step ahead. You see, I've been told that for some odd reason, you care deeply about this one. So, you get out of whatever hold you crawled in and you get there before midnight, or I will kill him. Speak. <laughs> Baby, please come get me. We'll have it That's enough. No, I need to remind you that you need to come alone. And if anyone else shows up besides you, the next time you see him will be your Jesus. Take talk, Abney. Take talk. Like I said, I'm warm inside. It was just like I said, right? Ever since he met with Priest, I knew that Pimp will be making a move soon. That's why I called you here so you can meet with us and we can make our move before it's too late. Do you believe me about Jaden now? Yeah, I changed my phone password, like you said, and I caught him trying to snoop on it a few times. And then he insisted that I give him a new password. And then earlier when I got Brian's call and I didn't tell him who it was, he tried to follow me after I left the house. So, yeah, you were right. He was spying on me, and I don't know how to feel. I'm sorry about all this, Abby. It's okay. It's about time I got used to it. He's waking up. What's going on? Feeling the after effects to the pill I slipped into your wine earlier? Why are you doing this? Abby, what are you doing here? We'll be the one asking questions around here. What makes you think I have some answers? Because I have proof of your infidelity and abuse of your managerial position to sexually harass female artists. All I have to do is hand it to our journalist friend over here, no, no, no. and it'll all be over the news by no, tomorrow. No. no, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. You're going to ruin my marriage. You're going to ruin my career. Well, I guess we'll have to see if those two things are more important to you than your loyalty to Priest. And you will tell us everything you know about Priest. The real priest. Not the facade that he portrays to everyone in public. 
Yeah, we want all the dirty details, and we'll keep yours safe with us. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, excellent. Begin. What the hell, man? Why is she not here yet? You told me she risked her own life to save this piece of crap. Relax, Phil. She'll be in a few times. Priest? You know about this? No hard feelings, my boy. It's a grimy business. You bastard! I trusted you! I trusted you! How could you do this to me? Hey, hey! If Abigail doesn't get here within the next hour, you won't even be alive to see that threat through. I'm sorry, man. My bad. She'll come. She'll come. She loves me. She'll come. Is there everything you need? That's all we need. Now we have more than enough proof to prove priests shady deals. And uh, with Brian's inside knowledge of the pimp's crimes, I can have my cousin, who is a detective, take him down for good. That's brilliant. It is. Now, the only thing that would make this even better, if I call my cousin and give him the address to where Jaden is. Why don't we just do it right now? If we do that, the police will show up there. And Bobby will make good to his threat. And kill Jaden before he's arrested. Do it. He's dead to me anyways. All right, hon. Unusual turn of events last week, the CEO of ADA Keys Entertainment, Priest, was subsequently arrested and has been charged with assault, money laundering, attempted murder, and kidnap. His partner in crime, the man whom he was arrested with, Pimp, aka Bobby, who has a long history of criminal charges. Today, I'm here in the studio with two young ladies who brought the crimes of these men into the light. Abby. You have been a victim of libel and a malicious media link over the past few weeks that your label has used these dirty tactics against you. Oh, well, um, it's something that I've had to deal with since I was a kid, having people constantly stab me in the back. I think that's a problem faced by a lot of artists. I mean, Janae here can surely relate to that. Well, I'll tell you this. I'm glad to be freed from Priest and his manipulations. And Abby, how are you coping with all of this? I can only hope that justice will be served. Now, finally, what can we expect from you two going forward? We've got big things planned as far as music, partnership. Now that we're independent, the sky's the limit. I'm happy to hear that. And I'm excited to see what's next for you two. It's Diane signing off for Music Lounge.